Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and I am going to try to add a video like this each, either Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure, just because there's a couple ones that reviews I still want to get to before Wednesday, like Justice League Odyssey and Drowned Earth. So, I'm going to try to do this each week. We'll see if it actually continues or if this will be a one-shot deal. But, um, I want to go through, like, the polls for this week. And, um, I want to start with Marvel because I'm not a huge Marvel person at all. And I'm not going to buy any Marvel this week. That's, I mean, just being real. But I do know that Immortal Hulk 10 comes out and that cover by Alex Ross is so stunning. And I know this has been very good. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm just not a Hulk or Marvel person. And also Venom 9 comes out. And it's the only reason I'm even saying that one would be worth looking into is because it's Donny Cates. And I've always been a huge Donny Cates fan. I think he's an amazing writer. And not only that, but he's actually one of the pros that are halfway decent. So it's nice to actually see that from somebody. We got about three or four of them, and that's about it. But um, moving on to DC, there's so many good titles this week. It makes me sad because I'm going to have to spend too much money. I might have to skip a few, but um, Adventures of Super Sons 5 comes out, and I'm definitely going to get this. I think this has um, kind of been in a redemption for my opinion on Damian Wayne, just because I don't like him as Robin. I never have liked him as Robin, and I'm glad to see that there's actually a storyline where he's halfway decent, um, but also Batman 60 comes out, and... Batman's been so good. And I really, really like, I really, really like Tom King's Batman. I know a lot of people don't. But that variant by friend Cheska Matina, I want to say, she has been, she or he, I have no idea, um, has been just killing it with these variants. And the illustrator, um, Mikkel Janin, has been just over the top good. So, Definitely, these are worth getting there. Batman has been really good. Now, Detective Comics has been awful, but Batman has been really good. Um, also, Deathstroke 38 I will get, and I didn't follow Deathstroke for a long time. I started to get back into it like low 30s, and we've been having this great storyline with Two-Face, and I really, really like the way it's been going, and... I really, I really think this is well done. Like, the art is good. The writer, uh, who is it? Who is it? Uh, Christopher Priest. I almost forgot. But it is so, it's just been really good. And for a Deathstroke comic, that's saying a lot. Um, Green Arrow 47 is also coming out. And I'm not getting it. But I haven't been following it. And I've heard it's been good. But that variant is so pretty. And, like, I love the way that... Um, Black Canary looks so good. Um, Doomsday Clock number 8 is coming out. And that that regular cover, oh my god, it's so cute. I need a pink kitty. I need a pink kitty in my life. It's adorable. Um, also, what else comes out this week? Martian Manhunter number 1. I'm so excited for this one. It's one of the new ones that wasn't pushed back. It's amazing that it's actually coming out on time. Um, I really actually almost like the regular cover than the variant, and I don't know why they're putting out a blank cover. I think that's so silly, but um, the variant I do like, but I just I think that first cover takes the uh, hold with the way he looks and with his police badge and everything. It looks like it's going to be really good. I, I'm going to cover it, I think, um, but I'm definitely going to read it. Nightwing 54 also. Oh, I'm so torn with this one. I do like it. It's love-hate relationship with Rick Grayson. And I think it's going to be good. I, I'm assuming it is. But I I just hope that we get some more redeemable qualities within Rick. Because it has just been, like, it's one of those that I've just been loving to hate. I don't know. I can't really say too much good about it right now. But what I can say good about is definitely Red Hood and the Outlaws 29, or Red Hood, the Outlaw 29. Um, we're going to get more with Batwoman. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, get to figure out what those like weird Solomon Grundy looking, I don't know what they were. But we'll get to see what that is. And um, that's pretty much it for DC. 
Like, that's a, kind of a lot, I guess. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's definitely it. But um, I will probably get every single one of those this week. Um, I think as far as they go, I'm definitely looking. Oh, no, it's not it. Justice League 13 comes out. I totally forgot about that. And that variant looks like... Uh, Normally, the I, I'm definitely thinking that the regular cover looks way better because that variant, what, what's the matter with all their faces? Like, they look very anime or very weird to me, and I don't like it at all. Like, it just looks, ew, I don't like it. Plain and simple, it doesn't look good. It looks like it's going to squish their faces up and make them look funky. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, that's it for DC. Um, Aftershock. Now, I have been getting some Aftershock provided from Bleeding Fool. So I'm, I really have been enjoying what I've been reading. And um, I think that what comes out, it's Baby Teeth and it's Volume 1. So it's another one that's done by Donny Cates. And um, it's going to be a collection of, I want to, I think the first 13, but I'm not sure. And it's really good. Like, I d wasn't into this series at all. Um, I actually didn't get into it until Aftershock, or until I started uh, doing stuff for Bleeding Fool. And when I looked into this one, I was like, okay, this is so far removed from what I would ever read. I'm going to check it out. And I, and I fell in love with it. It's one that's definitely worth checking out. The writing's good. It's Oh, so over the top, it's amazing. I like it. I really do think, and then the artist by Gary Browning does a really, like, solid job with his color palette and everything. So I, I, it's worth checking out. It's the only thing. There's a couple other things from um, Aftershock coming out this week that I might check out, like Moth and Whisper. But as far as that goes, that's about it. And then um, Ninjack also comes out. I mean, it's... I, I love Ninjack. I, it's 14. It's going to be good. I've been following Ninjack for a long time. And I don't know why they put out three covers, though. I think that's so silly. Not that I get floppies anymore anyway, because I have no local comic book store. But still, it just, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I, I do think it's going to be good. All the covers are good. I just don't see the point of putting out three. I, you have one in a variant, leave it at that. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I see. Unless you want to go, I know Border Town 4 comes out this week and <laughs> Black AF. So yeah, if you want to go buy those for some cringe comics, maybe, but that's about all I see that's coming out good. Um, I don't know how this video is going to go over because it's the first time doing it. So let me know what you think of this idea. I might add it if it goes over well. I think there's some, um, Archie meets Batman too, but I'm not really following that. I don't really like Archie at all but I know some people do so I don't know let me know what you guys think um that is all I have for today there is a lot of good stuff coming out way too much um when you're broke AF so I will see you guys in the next <laughs>